If you own a Netatmo welcome camera, you may not be aware that HomeKit's secure video was slipped in earlier this week. In this video, we're going to show you what that looks like. Hey guys, Chris Young here from HomeKit Geek, the channel where we bring you new smart home content every single week. If that sounds like it might interest you, please do me a favor, consider subscribing below and ring that bell to get notified when there are new videos. Most of us HomeKit fans were aware that Netatmo was one of the brands that committed to delivering HomeKit secure video earlier this year, but what they seem to have done is slid it into a firmware update in the middle of the night. I woke up yesterday to find that I suddenly had settings, just like with the Logitech Circle 2 camera, which we'll put a link to up here, and uh, lo and behold, they now support HomeKit video. So we're going to take a look at what that means. Some of the things that you need to know about this. This is an official release. This is not a beta release like the Logitech, which is still under beta as far as I am aware, at least as of the recording of this video. The other thing you're going to want to know is that the Netatmo Welcome Cam, you can still use the native app. This is not a cut and release similar to what Logitech has done. You're going to be able to use the native Netatmo app for things like the facial recognition, for looking at other, other camera settings, um, and as well to continue to use your Netatmo presence. Which brings me to one other quick detail. The Netatmo Presence has not released HomeKit Secure Video yet. So we're going to be looking forward to that in the future. But today, we did get this with the Welcome. Let's take a look. We've looked at the Netatmo Welcome camera before. And this camera, although it's getting a little bit old, just continues to get better, which is kind of amazing. So I will put links to the other reviews that I've done on this before, but essentially what you need to know, local storage, HomeKit, Google, Amazon, does pretty much everything you would want it to do. Now it also does Apple HomeKit Secure Video. So for those of you not familiar with HomeKit Secure Video, essentially what this means, no subscription fee other than your existing iCloud storage. Uh, if you've got the two terabit plan, you can have up to five cameras recording and you control the footage. Let's take a look. So how do you actually get this going? Well, you don't really do anything. This is an auto firmware update, which is firmware 433, according to my app. And the beautiful thing is, unlike the Logitech version of the HomeKit Secure Video, this still works with the Netatmo application. Note though, the Netatmo presence, which is their outdoor cam, is not supported yet. I do expect to see that in the future though. So looking at the interface, we see the exact same HomeKit interface that we see with the Logitech camera, which is really why uh, what we like about HomeKit or what I like about HomeKit is that you get a consistent experience amongst multiple vendors. You have the same recording options. You can say any motion is detected or you can use when people, animals, vehicles. Do you want to record audio? You can change your recording settings for when you're home versus when you're away. Uh, and this is defined on your, your specific phone, right? So pretty cool that we have the ability to uh, as well control camera status lights, night vision, so you can let people know if you're recording or not. All the same controls that you get with the Logitech camera. The other great thing is it is a consistent experience across your iPhones, your iPads, and even on your new Mac OS if you happen to be running Catalina. So one quick thing I do want to point out is that for me at least, I do get the controls from a Catalina standpoint, but I'm not actually able to see the timeline of the recorded video at this point in time. So as the Logitech Circle 2 was the first beta release to support HomeKit Secure Video, I would actually consider the Netatmo Welcome the first official release in that there was no beta, I didn't sign up for it, and the firmware just appeared. So that's a really good thing, I think, um, in general, for the future of uh, Apple Secure Video and for privacy in general, in that the whole point of the Secure Video is that we have control over the footage in our cameras. Nobody else is looking at it. Apple can't see it. This is a good thing, especially for indoor cameras. What do you guys think? Is Are you guys excited about this? Any questions that I've missed out on? Definitely let me know in the comments below. Um, if you've seen the firmware show up, let me know how things are going for you. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're looking at making some holidays purchases, please consider using the Amazon affiliate code in the video details. I get a couple of bucks from your purchases. You pay the same. It helps to continue to support me and other creators in what we're doing. Thanks.